So today's reading is going to be from Psalms 12, and I'll be reading verse 1 to 4. Also, I'll be summarizing each verse when I'm done. So, um, Psalms 12 verse 1 says, Help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. They speak vanity, everyone, with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? So that was verse 1 to 4. So verse 1, help, O Lord, for the godly are fast disappearing. David cried for the Lord, because he said the godly man is no more. I suggest if we ever feel distant towards God, we should do the same as David. It seems that he has described our generation more than all rest. Society has fallen into such a state of degradation today. Verse 2, they speak vanity everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. This means that was not according to the word of God. It was vain, empty, corrupted, and filthy, which no godly and faithful man would ever think of doing. Verse 3, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Not only does God not like flattering lips and proud statements, but people are turned off by that kind of person as well. In my opinion, the tongue is the most dangerous part of our body until we turn our tongue over to God. Let God control your tongue, and it will speak life and not death. Verse 4. Who have said with our tongue will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Life and death are in the power of the tongue. If God does not rule our tongue, we are evil to the core. Godly men are their own authority. I look more closely at verses 5 to 8 from Psalm 12. In verse 5 it says, But the Lord says, I will now rise up, because the poor are being hurt, because of the moans of the helpless, I will give them the help they want. This verse really shows how God is righteous, and how he always wants to help us. If we're in a time of trouble, where someone's hurting us or being rude to us, and we ask God for help, he always delivers, and he gives us the wisdom to say what is right in those situations. In verse 6 it says, The Lord's words are pure, like silver purified by fire, like silver purified seven times over. This verse really shows how God is pure. When silver is purified once, it may still have some impurities in it, but when silver is purified seven times over, it's completely pure. This represents God's word, because God's word is always truthful, and there's no doubt in his word. In verse seven, it says, Lord, you will keep us safe. You will always protect us from such people. This verse really shows how God is always protecting us. We are his children and he is our father and he will protect us no matter what. He protects us against the wicked and he always has his shield of protection around us. In verse 8 it says, But the wicked are all around us, everyone loves what is wrong. This verse really represents our world today, how people have lost their basic values. Sometimes to do the wrong thing is tempting, as sometimes it's easier than to do the right thing. But when we do what is wrong, our hearts become cold and we don't live in peace. That is why we have to stay strong in our faith. We are also being tested every day where people are trying to shake down our faith, but we have to stay strong and keep a clear sight of God in front of us. This is what I got from these verses.